Why are you recording it, Mom? I literally didn't. I didn't write anything, y'all. So we're just gonna we're gonna wing it. It might be a little long, but like we'll try. Keep it short. Okay. I will try to keep it short. Okay. So um. So I just wanted to say thank you everyone for like first of all coming because I didn't even know this was happening. I came off work and I thought I was going to dinner with my sister and then I came and Maddie's like surprise with Rosie and I was like wow cute okay um <laughs> um yeah so I got my AA Woo! 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 Involved math? No. Like last semester, I had chem at 8 a.m. every single Saturday. Oh. 8 a.m. for four hours. Just imagine Absolutely that, and then like just like take that in. Like I don't think you can because like it's terrible. Um, my professor also didn't speak English, but anyways, um, she was Colombian. So we're just like, that was that was that was crazy. Um, um, I talked like I just. There were a lot of times when I felt like I was never gonna get it if I'm being honest because I just had to like take these classes that were hard for me because I swear to God, man, you should backhand you so hard. <laughs> anyway, sorry. She okay. didn't mean that. Anyways, anyways, okay, so I basically, I had to take, <laughs> sorry, I got like so violent, but um, I had to take like these hard, these hard classes and like I'm not like, I felt dumb, Maddie, I swear sorry. to God, I felt like, I felt like dumb at times. I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie because like there were people that brought me down in the past. People that made me feel dumb. That treated me like I was dumb. And it's very discouraging when you're taking these classes and you're looked at like someone that's not like. I swear to God, I cannot. God. Daddy, Daddy, keep going. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Hey, I'm about to. I'm I didn't even do anything. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let me finish. Oh, I swear to God. Okay. So basically. It was just, it's very discouraging going through high school alone and then going through high school on top of, I swear, I'm going to high school on top of, I can't yeah, look at Rosie's stuff. What did I do? You're like no. laughing. Okay. No, you're doing anything. I'm trying to get this done, I swear to God. If you were winning a Grammy, they would have kicked you off the stage. No, they talk so much. Okay, okay. So, uh, on top of, on top of doing like, I swear I'm good. I swear I'm good. Maddie? Um, um, on top of being a high school student, just alone, taking the honors classes, AP classes, um, being president, being in honor societies, theater, SGA, literally everything, like, and then going to get your degree, it is not easy. And if I didn't have the support system that I did, I think I would have crashed a long time ago. Um, I think there were a lot of times when people like doubted me and they were like, oh, like you're not gonna get that, there's no way. And I did at a point, I did let it get to me and I thought that I wasn't even gonna succeed a lot because there were, it was just, it was hard because there were classes that I didn't necessarily pass the first time that I had to retake and that alone is discouraging. Like it and makes wow. you feel like, yeah, it makes you feel like, oh, I can't do it again. But like I got back up from it and like that's the best, that's the best thing I could have done. Um, I want to say thank you to Nani, my sister. Woo. Woo. Because if you guys don't know this, I'm about to brag on Nani really quick. Nani has literally done everything. Like this girl is homecoming queen, prom queen. She got all, she literally had, I think it was all 60 credits by high school, right? Mm. Or like, she had enough credits. I finished the summer after with 70. So yeah, she got 70 credits after. She yeah. went in, she, she graduated early. She skipped a grade pretty much. And then she just got her bachelor's. She got a full ride to be a law student at UF. So yeah. like, you see what I, I mean? Nani, like, girl, you are smart. Yeah. <laughs> Nani, yeah. Nani has been like my biggest like inspiration, not only with schoolwork, but like just as a person, like I've always looked up to Nani. Like Nani's been like, I love my brother, but Nani has always been like the <laughs> person that I've, the person that I've looked I'm up to lying. like the most, you know? And so like, I just want to say thank you to Nani, who was also on my butt for every single class, like every single thing. Read like, every single essay. Every single essay Nani would read. She would proofread it, she would fix it. Like she would like, 
Nani is like probably the best, the best part of this whole college journey, I would say, because she has taught me what it was, what it's like to be a good student, a good person, and just like, just an overall, like Madison, I swear to God, please stop talking. Okay, I'm not, I'm not the only one. No, I know, but you were right next to me. I'm trying to make this go, but like, I just want to say thank you to Nani because like, it means a lot. And then, um, to David and my dad, you guys, thank you for driving me to my classes because David did drive me, drive me to some classes when I started literally freshman year. That was, I was 14, 15 in a class with a bunch of 20 year olds and I was like, hmm. that was awkward. Um, thank you to my mama because she, Woo! she was the best. The mama here, we are not is. My mom birthed me one and she was there when I literally like went into the car and would just cry because I hated my classes and I was stressed out. Like she has been my biggest support system. She has been on my butt as well, pushing me nonstop to be the best version of myself all the time. And when things got really, really hard recently and like last year for some personal issues, like she never, like she told me, okay, like it's okay to be sad, but get back up every single time. And that's exactly what I did. I didn't let any circumstance or anything stop me from getting what I wanted, which at the end of the day was my degree. And I got it August 6th, 2019. Woo! And we're done. Yeah. Yeah.